For the last month, Bush Gardens workers have been making modifications to the Rhino Rally course. Some of the paths are being leveled out and angles of some of the slopes have been decreased. We've widened the turn from the rhino habitat into the crocodile habitat. We've added roadside barriers throughout the entire course. We've eliminated any driver negotiated obstacles. Robin well, Carson says the Land Rovers checked out safe and that the reason for the accident hinged on several factors, including driver error. The driver misnegotiated that turn some way and ended up putting themselves in a position uh, slightly off the track. Uh, this person had done this a thousand times and it ended up in a slightly different position than where, where they were before. Barbara Terrell has ridden Rhino Rally before and said she thought human error was the reason. I didn't think there was a big problem. I, I felt like it was probably driver error. He made a mistake. He slipped off the road. All 55 of the Rhino Rally drivers have gone through retraining and will be recertified. An independent safety agency has been on hand to give their stamp of approval, making many guests feel safe. And what are the chances that it would hap happen again? Usually if, if something like that happens, you know, they beef up and check, make sure that it's secure, and then something like that don't ever happen. In three to four days, selected guests will be asked to test out the ride.